I am trying to set up a d theta dr double integral to find the area of the region bounded above by the spiral r equals to pi over 3 theta. I have the graph. I use decimal to sketch the graph. So you go to uh, decimal.com and then use the graphing calculator. But in order to sketch a um, polar graph, you have to go to the upper right hand corner and then click the wrench to do a graph setting you have to uh, look for the grid and then change the grid to a rectangular graph to a polar graph all right upper right hand corner check out the wrench and then change the from uh, rectangular to polar coordinate and then you go to the right hand side and then just simply type r equals to pi over 3 theta uh, for the three, three, for the theta for the pi you can just type pi for the theta you can type theta and then after you finish the a they will just switch that to a theta all right so we are trying to look for where's the area uh, bounded above by the spiral or equals to that and below by the polar axis so the region the theta is between 0 and pi over 3r and r is between 1 and 2 okay so in this one the variable bounded for theta so this one is a variable because r is uh, the theta is ch uh, the theta is uh, changing and then uh, what, what what else? Oh, by, by, by the way, you have a r equals to pi over 3 theta, right? And then when you solve for theta, so you simply multiply theta on both sides and then divide r on both sides. So that is how you switch the position of r and theta. So theta is equals to pi over 3r. And this is changing. The theta is changing. So the variable bound for theta. That's, that's why we say this. And then the R is fixed, fixed at 1 and 2. So fixed bound at R. So this problem is basically a theta simple region. So that's why we are setting up a D theta DR integral. In the previous video, I make an example that is um, we have a fixed bound for the theta. The previous problem, not this one. The previous problem, the theta is fixed. But R is changing, so that one will be a R simple region. So, and then I in, in my video I make a d r d theta integral. This one is d theta d r. Okay, let's check out the region. So we have a R equals to one and two. I did the map already. So when R is equals to one, you plug in one. And then you solve for theta, very easy, right? So when r is equals to 2, you plug in a 2 to r, and then you solve for theta. So we have theta equals to pi over 3. You can easily point it out at the polar graph. And then pi over 6, you can easily point it out. So therefore, you draw two dash line. And then where is the intersection? The first intersection is right here, that line up to a 1. And then the second intersection that is right here, that line up to a 2. And then my region is just right here. So that is my region. So let's uh, shade the region. Okay, so we are trying to set up a double integral to find the area of this region. It is going to be a d theta dr integral because the theta is changing. So if the r is changing, then we are, if the r is changing, then we are setting up a dr d theta integral. Okay. Okay, how about the integral? So here is the integral. So we have the area equals to a double integral. Okay, so we are doing a d theta dr integral. And then what is in the integral? Very simple, just the r. Hey, where is the pi over three theta? We don't. We put the r. We put the r pi over three theta in the upper and lower limit. So this one, do you see this? This is theta between zero and pi over three r, right? This is d theta, so we to do a r equals to zero, r equals to pi over three r. And then for the r, r is between one and two. So now the double integral is ready. So all you have to do is integrate. So we integrate this piece first with respect to theta. So that means r is a constant, so equal to from one to two, and then this will be r theta, right? So this will be r theta, where theta goes from 0 to pi over 3r. And then don't forget that there is a 3dr. 
and then you plug in. So we have uh, from one to two. Where where do we plug in? We plug in the pi over three r to the theta. So when we plug it in, we have um, we have a r times pi over three r, right? Minus r times a zero and then a d r. Okay, the R is cancelled, so we have from 1 to 2, the R is cancelled, we have a pi over 3, the 0 is gone, and then a DR. And then a DR, oh, the R is cancelled, so the pi over 3 is just a constant, this is easy, so that will be a pi over 3, and then times R, such that R goes from 1 to 2, so that will be a pi over 3, 2 minus 1 and then the answer is pi over 3 so the answer is pi over 3 which is the area of the shaded region so let me go over this one more time if the theta is changing we do we go by a d theta dr whoever is changing goes first okay it needs to be in, in integrated first so since theta is changing then theta goes first we have to take care of theta in the very first step if r is changing which is the previous video then we will do a dr d theta then we the dr will just go first so if r is changing then dr goes first if theta is changing then theta goes first okay usually the integ the integration is pretty simple all right so that is the end of this video if you like the way i introduce double integral of a pole polar region thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more contents like that and i will meet you all in the next one take care